Let's go! Rodri has won the Ballon d'Or. Honestly, I never thought the day would come. A Manchester City player winning the award for the best player in the world. But he clearly was. I'm seeing so much stuff out there. Rodri's robbed Vinicius Jr. No chance, mate. Vinicius Jr. is an incredible player. He was good last season, but Rodri... I watch this guy week in, week out, live as well. Live. And this guy, he is like having two players on the pitch. Obviously, this season, he's got injured straight away. He's going to be out for near enough 12 months. But we can't let that overshadow the fact that last season, the judgment period for this Ballon d'Or, Rodri was comfortably the best player in the world. Game after game, time after time, he scored huge goals. He popped up in huge moments. It's not just about scoring goals for a defensive midfielder. Not only is he the first defensive midfielder to win this award, but wow, he is the best player in the world. And we cannot doubt that. He plays for Manchester City. And historically, we've had chances. De Bruyne maybe a few years back. Haaland last year, 52 goals in 52 games. A treble, all in his debut season at City. And he didn't stand a chance against Lionel Messi. And with all due respect to Messi, he should not have won it last year. He should not have got his eighth Ballon d'Or. He had seven. On probably all seven of those occasions, he was comfortably the best player in the world. He's probably one of the most gifted players ever, if not the gift if not the best ever player in the world. But last year should have been Haaland. And now finally Manchester City get their first ever Ballon d'Or winner. It's Rodri. I'm suited up for it because why not? And I'm sure you'll have all seen a few clips of me knocking about in this suit. I am buzzing. I woke up this morning. I thought Vinicius Jr's won it. I checked the odds. Rodri was 8-1. to one. Vinicius Jr was near enough locked on to win it. I thought, again, we've got, we've got this close to winning it. And the PR of Real Madrid has done it again. I thought, Vinicius Jr. first, Rodri second, Bellingham third. And I thought, no one's actually going to kick up a fuss about it. But Rodri is the best player in the world. I don't care what people say. He is the best. And I know he's obviously done his ACL now. We're not talking about now. But last season, Rodri... And Phil Foden, for me, is up there. Rodri, though, finally, finally getting the credit he deserves for being the best player in the world. And it's hard to put into words, as I said. He's like two plays in one. You look at the games. You've only got to look at the games we didn't have him in to see how poor our record was. Yes, this season, we've sort of done pretty well without him so far. But for me, last season, this guy was on another planet. He was on another planet. And he's not sexy forward. He's not someone that's going to be getting 10 goals a week. That's not what the Ballon d'Or is. The Ballon d'Or crowns the best player in world football. And Rodri, last season, was comfortably the best player in world football. Real Madrid have a huge fan base. They've got a huge pull, as de Barcelona, etc. But this award hasn't been in the Premier League since 2008. The Premier League is the best league in the world. Don't get me wrong, Messi and Ronaldo dominated for years. And obviously, they were going to win a number of awards in La Liga. But recently, I think the Premier League's been robbed of one or two Ballon d'Ors. And now we've finally got one. Manchester City have got one. The first play in the history of this great club to win a Ballon d'Or. And I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I'm not going to ramble on for 10 minutes about this. Go and celebrate. Go get yourself a pint. Go crack the champagne. Because we've finally, finally done it. And Rodri, more than ever, deserves this. This guy is so humble. He's such a quality guy. Such an amazing player. He's got everything right last season. Obviously gutting about his injury. But this guy deserves his praise. He deserves the Ballon d'Or. And he's finally got it. Come on, City. And up the Rodri Ballon d'Or winner.